live from Stavanger in Norway. It is now 9.30. We have 30 minutes to get breakfast because the breakfast closes at 10. And breakfast is essential because it's one of the meals, the only meal a day that we don't have to pay for or make. <laughs> yeah, so eat a big breakfast is a good tip. And then you're good for the rest of the day. So we'll show you what uh, breakfast looks like here in Norway. Bananas, fruits, different types of yogurts, smoothies, all the little grains here. Croissants, these are really good. We've had a lot of these. They have this brownie thing here, but it's not that great. We got all kinds of different breads, which we use to make sandwiches. Jams here, cheeses. This is called brown cheese. It's actually pretty good, different than any type of cheese we've ever had. All the different cold cold cuts, cheese, different kinds of uh, veggies, egg salad, uh, olives, pickled fish of some sort, cucumber, or pickles. Melissa really liked those pickles actually. Beets and of course salmon. And they got hot food of course also, scrambled eggs, hard boiled eggs, potatoes, sausages, beans, and mushrooms. Ooh, and they have pancakes also with their type of Nutella and maple syrup. And of course they have coffee, which is vital. How's your breakfast? Great. Good. Filling? Yeah, I enjoy their breakfast. What's funny is I read reviews that said that their breakfast isn't good here, but I actually think it's pretty good. There's a lot of things I can eat, like the eggs, um, mushrooms, there's like a salad, there's fresh vegetables, fresh fruit. They have a gluten-free and lactose-free section. Um, they have like yogurts and a lot of carbs. But I think it's decent. Um, one of the hotels we're staying at, our, our second to last hotel in Trondheim, supposedly has the best breakfast in all of Norway. Um, so I'm kind of curious to see what that one looks like. So we are here in Stavanger this morning. We've been here for about three days. And the plan for today is to drive up this blue route here to Oda. That is where we start our hike to Trotinga in the morning, uh, tomorrow morning. On the way there, on this three hour and 44 minute drive, we should be able to see at least two waterfalls. And we're gonna probably take it a little bit easy today because our bodies are a bit sore from our hikes the last few days. Norway has the highest number of Teslas per capita. We probably see a Tesla every minute or so. Gas is really expensive here, so I wonder if that plays a factor into um, the electric car industry here. Also, the government provides a large subsidy for electric cars, so it makes it pretty affordable. Tesla number five million. All right, so we are filling up gas right now. It is 280 knock for 17 liters. So that's about 35 or almost $40 for just half a tank. So we just got gas and we have a Chase Sapphire Reserve card, which is a good credit card for travelers because it doesn't have any foreign transaction fees and you get a lot of points, but it does not have a pin, which you need throughout a lot of Europe. So it didn't work at the gas station. Fortunately, we have a Charles Schwab debit card and that also doesn't charge foreign transaction fees and that requires a pin. So we kind of knew that coming in. We always bring it with us, but there are other cards that act in the same way. Like Fidelity has a credit or a, a card that doesn't charge foreign transaction fees. So look into that and be prepared. I just figured out there is 3.78 liters to a gallon. And so that's about 60 knock per gallon. And that translates into or converts into about $7 a gallon for gas. So if you're here in Norway and you want to drive like we are, just kind of have to factor that in. Or just get an electric car. <laughs> or you can rent a Tesla. Hello. Uh, yeah, two. Yeah. <laughs> First ferry of this trip to Oda. And it was a little bit cheaper than our other ferry the other day. No, no. Actually, it's only cheaper by two knots. <laughs> oh, it's cheaper by two knots. 
Alright, but this ferry is supposed to be 25 minutes across this fjord. And I think we have another ferry in a little bit as well. These ferries are kind of expensive for being that short, but I guess they need to pay for the ferries. I propose just building a bridge. Why, why, why don't we just have a bridge? I think it's a little too long for a bridge. 25 minute ferry ride is like kind of a long ways. They right? have a really big bridge over um, uh, South Padre Island or like the Florida Keys. That's true. Hey, Norway, <laughs> get to bri bridge building, please. So this is the situation. Everybody kind of lines up here. I guess the big camper vans line up over there. And this is us here. And we have absolutely no idea when this ferry leaves. We're just kind of in line. And when we go, we go. Look at this bottom section of the ferry, completely loaded with cars. You always want to locate the safety equipment. Okay, I'm holding onto this thing because this ferry definitely rocks back and forth. I hate boats. I've never liked boats. It's pretty interesting that people on the ferry are like just real casual about it. It's kind of like this is just like their trains or whatever. People are having lunch, it's like 12.30 right now, and you just hang out as a family. This is kind of what they do. We've arrived at a waterfall, it's called Langfossen. It's literally right along the road. I hope that drone footage was pretty good. Finally got a chance to fly my drone after three days in Norway. All right, let's keep driving. All right, we have successfully checked into our Airbnb after 10 minutes of searching for where it is. Because there was two, literally two gray houses. We're looking for a gray house. And like, is it this gray house or is it that gray house? And I literally just like, uh, kind of trespassed on someone's yard to figure out that that was not it. <laughs> but we're here now, so that's good. It's a nice room, look around. We got double bed here. And then we also have bunk beds. So Alan will be on the bunk bed. What? Come on. <laughs> We just checked into our Airbnb. Um, it's one apartment with two rooms and then a shared living space. It has a full kitchen, which is super useful because we're gonna cook food tonight. Um, we're probably going to make chicken tikka masala. So we're gonna make some rice, hopefully try to find some chicken. And then we have this chicken, this tikka masala sauce. Yeah, full stove. Microwave, hot water, coffee maker, coffee up there, that'd be useful in the morning. Sink, kind of sort of leftover food, and fridge over here. So that'll be really good. In the little living area right here. We're at the grocery store and they sell bread by the loaves, unsliced, so we have to slice it. Alright, 
So we just got back from the grocery store. We're gonna make rice, tikka masala, and we have chicken in the fridge. That'll be our dinner because tomorrow we are gonna wake up really early to go hike Trotunga. So we'll call it a night here. Thanks for watching. Subscribe if you're not already. And we'll catch you guys on our next vlog. Hey, boy.